is um, validation with regards to boundaries and goals. Um, TikTok, it's called TikTok. What are your boundaries and goals? To give you an example, I have a friend, um, probably a couple friends, but I have one friend in particular who used to always come late. Like no matter where we were, no matter what we were doing, she would always be an hour late. So what I used to do is I would tell her that we needed to be someplace at 11 when we needed to be there at noon just to make sure that she got there. <laughs> we call that Puerto Rico time. Uh, well, we call it CB time. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so what happened is I started to realize that this person did it because she liked the excitement that came about. So whenever she was late, or like, oh, ah, and so that was exciting because I gave her the attention, that gave her the adrenaline rush, you know, you know, I, I want to be there late, but not, but not too late. How much did I miss? And, oh my God. So everything was, it, it was just like a rush, you know, oh my God, we got to help and get there. And it was exciting and engaging. So what I will, so what I will do is I will talk to individuals about, um, instead of, instead of using the tardiness to get the stimuli, increase the goal. Mm -hmm. Change the area of fulfillment. Change your fulfillment. So instead of saying, um, instead of saying, I'm going to, I'm going to get to this party late because, you know, of the attention that I will get, etc. Say, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to start earlier and I'm going to spend an extra half an hour on my clothes or I'm going to spend, you know, an extra half an hour on something else. Like raise your responsibility so that you still get that excitement and that stimuli. So if you put more time into your makeup, your hair, your nails or whatever it is, then when you get there, the, the comments and the accolades will be about the extras instead of the tardiness. It sounds like uh, to kind of blend everything together, it's more so holding account of changing your accountability and also changing your mindset of what you want to be held accountable for, right? So um, it, it, it goes back into that changing the perspective mindset of I can't, is I have to, to I can, or I get to, right? It's like... Instead of, like you mentioned, saying, oh, I want to be late so everyone knows I'm here. It's okay. I want to make sure my outfit is phenomenal so when I walk in, everyone here, right? So that, that's a great point of reference. So it's always about understanding what the end goal is. Mm -hmm. And that's what I work with my clients is helping them understand their end goal. And once they understand their end goal, then what we can do is we can say, well, what are some other ways that are... Um, you know, socially acceptable or, 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 or affirming in a different way, you know, they have a more positive outcome versus an, a potentially, you know, disappointing outcome. What are some ways that we can shift that? And once we understand, like, how important, how important is it for her to have validation mm -hmm. when we go out, now I understand that we have to find another mechanism which is, gonna, which is going to meet her particular need. And sometimes we gloss over the needs but the needs are so tangible. Absolutely. So, like, just to simplify, the the need right there is to be noticed, right? But primarily, the the result was you were noticed because you were late, right? But now, when you change that, you're noticed because your outfit is on point, or you're noticed because you're early, or you noticed because you brought something, right? So that end game is still the same, but your 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 path is different now, and that's how you change your fulfillment, right? Because you've decided to make that change yourself and follow through and commit, holding and, yourself accountable. And the self-efficacy is there because now I'm in control of this, you know, and I have the ability to do more versus vacillating and you know how late should I be or you know it, it it's more of a control, and I can tweak it and I can add more. Um, to get that positive thing and, and that positive thing guess what I'm sorry I forgot the most important thing so with that positive thing it's more sustainable mm -hmm. because these people right here in this crowd might say ah oh, oh, you're late but the people on the other end of the room don't really care if you're late right mm -hmm. if you do something as far as taking a skill that you already have and tweaking it a little bit more you know more favorably now what you have is people throughout the place throughout mm -hmm. the whole facility are telling you that you look good or there's you know there's more affirmation so just simple tweaks like that that you can do to once again make sure that your client understands what's important to them mm -hmm. and that they get what they want or what they really need absolutely being able to provide short-term versus long-term exactly sustainable mm-hmm cool anything else nope nope that was good guys <laughs>